Well, hey everyone, it's the Train Freak again, and today I have decided that I'm going to show or try attempt to show you how to make your wood chip hoppers look a little more realistic. Um, what I plan on using is I got a couple of wood chop uh, wood chip hoppers. Sorry, uh, here in front of me. Uh, one is a Bowser brand, and the other one's an Athern ready to roll, and. Uh, what I'm going to end up using is Mod Podge, water, a paintbrush, magnets, super glue, which I'll get to that part here in a little bit, and sawdust. And so that way it, it looks a lot better. Now, before we get started, I always want to remind you to... And make sure you shade in that bell so that way you will receive these future notifications on my future videos. Also, I have an upcoming contest. Um, I have got some prizes for N, HO, and O scale uh, for the 200 subscriber contest. Uh, right now, I last looked, I'm at 133. And if we can get these videos shared out there and get thumbs up, it'll help. And as soon as we get to 200 subscribers, I will be giving one of those prizes away. Um, now, let's get to the wood chip hopper thing and I'll show you kind of how I'm doing some things. Okay, so here in front of me we have two wood chip hoppers. This is Bowser's brand. This is Athern. Now you can see this is, well, let's see if I can get it focused. There we go. This is what it looks like. I'm not a big fan of that. And I'm really not a big fan of this one. I mean, that just does not look like wood at all. Now, the other thing is, is when you have these in the cars, this one does sit up higher. This one, you can't even really see it once it's in, you know, from eye level. I mean, you could just barely see it compared to that. So, I don't know if there's really anything I can do on that. Um... Maybe I might end up getting rid of one of these and just stick with one manufacturer on all these so they all look the same. Or I, I don't know yet. Maybe put in a custom load. One of the first things I noticed is these do not come out easily. Now, I'm running operations, meaning that I need to have empty cars going up to my sawmill. And then they need to be coming out of the sawmill with loads so I have found a way or I think I found a way to do that it involves magnets and here this is what I have is Gorilla Glue you don't have to get the clear on this one so just to kind of show you this is one of my magnetic ones I have and it actually helps gets the load out without moving the car like it won't even pick the car off the track now, temporarily, what I've done is I just tape these in here. Something else I've done is I've also put in the road number or the, the car and the road number so that way I know which load goes to which car. Also, I had to get my sandpaper, and I actually have a mouse sander or, you know, and if you got a belt sander, that's even better, to sand this edge down, and it makes it to where it doesn't um, fit in too snug. And I also sand the corners down as well. I don't know if you can see how, I, how I've done that a little bit, but the corner up here at the top is kind of more at a 45 instead of a 90. And it just makes, makes it, you know, fit in and out a little easier. Now, the tape here, that's temporarily. Um, I will go back and actually glue these suckers in there. Um, but the tape is so that way it will help until the glue dries. Um, now this one I haven't done that with, but Bowser makes it to where the um, hopper extensions come out and then you can push these out. But that's still something I do not want to mess with. I just want to be able to use my magnet and pull it out. All right, so how do I plan on doing this? I plan on using one of these Talenti jars so if you like Talini ice cream, man, this is some good stuff. Um, and it don't matter what flavor. 
but wash these out. These make great storage containers or mixing containers, like if you're trying to do a wash, um, you know, for like weather, you know, weathering and whatnot, or for in, in this instance, I'm going to have a mix of Mod Podge and water in here. Uh, the mixture that I'm going to end up using is 60% of Mod Podge, and I did get gloss. The matte just does not look good. The gloss will actually make it pop. And I'm going to use this not to apply it to this, but I'm also going to use it to seal it in. Um, so I've got that. Of course, need a paintbrush so that way you can paint it. And then the fun part, i got another Tolini jar here full of coarse sawdust. In scale might work if you use fine, but the coarser the better because wood chips are not fine. So, but that's something for the end scalers who try to attempt this. Hey, that's something for you to look into. So, what I'm going to end up doing, and it's going to be kind of hard for me to do holding a camera. Um, let's see, I also wrote the date in on that one too. Um, basically, I'm just going to get on here. I'm going to get my Mod Podge mixture in here, and I'm just going to kind of get it doused very good. And then I'm basically just going to take this and kind of pour it, pour it on and make sure it gets a good coating. I want to make sure it dries. I'll probably end up doing the same thing, maybe a second coat, get a little bit more wood chip on there and just kind of build it up. But before I can do this one, I've got to sand it down and, you know, make sure the magnets are glued in as well. Definitely sand it before you glue the magnets in because the vibration of the sander, unless you're using actual sandpaper, but if you're using any type of sander, mouse palm sander, or a belt sander, do your magnets afterwards. Um, or tape them in like I did so that way, you know, the glue don't break. So I'm going to attempt that. And let's, uh, I think what I'll just do for this video is I'm just going to do this one here. And we'll just see how it looks. I might do both, but we'll see. So I will be back here shortly. All right, y'all, so I had to let these magnets dry after getting these suckers glued in. And I mean, works pretty well. And I went ahead and sanded this one down too. So if I put that one in there and just take my magnet, comes right out. And I put two in there so that way I could either grab it from one side or the other. Same with this one here. I can grab it here or Grab it there. So we shall see how these turn out. All right, so the next step, I'm gonna move these two car cards out of the way. I got my Mod Podge here. And I went ahead and, I know this is an aerial view, but I've made a mixture, 60% Mod Podge, 40% water. And what I'm gonna end up doing is, I'm gonna take, some of this good, fresh smelling pine sawdust here. Except for these clumps, because I really don't want clumps. Okay. But I'm just gonna basically get on here and I am going to hold that underneath. I'm going to move the car out of the way. Don't want to get the Mod Podge on it. And I know this is going to be kind of messy. So I'm just basically taking my paintbrush and getting a good coat. And if it drips off, that's fine. But a good coat of this Mod Podge water mixture. Just like so. Get that off of there. And then definitely use a paper, uh, some type of like newspaper or an ad or something. But then I'm going to take a little bit of the sawdust. I'm going to hold it over my little sawdust tray. And I'm just basically kind of spreading it on there. And then I'm going to drop it off. Grab it again. Just kind of sprinkle it on there. Drop it off. 
I'm going to do that a few times because I want to make sure that I get a really good coating. And yeah, you're going to make a mess. And making a mess, it's it's completely fine. It's okay. Alright, just try to shake off as much as that loose excess you got. And this is how it should turn out. I mean, that's pretty, pretty good and coated. So, I'm going to let this one here set to the side. Woo! Now time for the other one. Now this one, like I said, the Atherns, they have more of a full uneven look than the, the kits from Bowser. And just depending on how these look, I might end up converting over to one manufacturer over the other because I kind of want all my stuff to look the same. So, okay, got a good coating there. I'm gonna pour a little more sawdust. All right. Now this one I'm probably gonna have to kind of do at some at different angles because of the fact of how uneven uh, this, this load that came with the manufacturer, how uneven that load is. I really need some thicker, some thicker flakes. Here we go. There we go. Let's see how this looks close up. Yeah, it don't look too shabby. So there you go. And then, you know, we could go ahead and wipe down the sides, you know, between the, um, you know, where the load's going to go in. But we want to be careful not to get it off of the corner. So, it's, it's completely okay. So, now what we're going to need to do is... After I get these sides cleaned off, we're going to wait and let this dry. And depending on how it looks, I might add a second, second coat. So that's kind of where we're at. So I will return here in a little while. All right, so the glue has dried, and just to kind of test, I can rub my finger across it, and it's not really going anywhere. But it's not to the point to where if I get that magnet, it, like it's not sealed. But you can see it's not really sh shaking off much either. So now what I'm going to use is that exact same Mod Podge, and I'm just going to kind of get my brush wet and I'm just going to kind of dab the top and this is just going to help seal it in there and yeah I know it looks kind of white on top but hey that lets you know where you got and it takes a little more Mod Podge to get it to where once you know that it's sealed And I'm just kind of poking the brush on there. Get the stuff off my hand. And we're almost done with this one. 
Oop, and I got some bristles, so I definitely don't want those. Worst case, if those don't come out, I'll have to get some tweezers after them. All right, so it looks very, very damp. So now we go back to sitting and waiting. All right, y'all, here is the finished product of the sawdust in the wood chip hoppers to make a better wood chip load. And I might come back and do another layer on it and maybe touch up some spots kind of like that there. But if you look at it close, I mean, it looks like fresh wood chips that they would soak down with water before sending them out on the railroad. And this one here sets a little higher. So, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased. And let's see here. That actually looks a lot better in my opinion now since I've added the sawdust to it. I mean, this is just... I like the card, but that load is just too full in my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong. Um... But one of the good ways to test is I've got this magnet here. So that way, and that was the whole purpose of doing that. Now the car is unloaded. It can run up to the sawmill to get more, you know, wood chips filled. And then, bam, it's full. Same with this one. Comes right out. So that's why I wanted to use the magnet for these loads. And, I mean, it just makes things so much better. So what I'm going to do is, you probably already saw the intro, but I'm going to add the intro on the end again, so that way you can see how these two cars look coming around the track. And I might have one go one way and one go... Uh, I, might, I might do the second video going the opposite direction, make it look like it came from the other way. So, alright, well I hope y'all like this how-to. Um... You know, make sure, like I said, make sure you subscribe, make sure you shade in the bell, uh, so that way, you know, you're going to get notified on my future videos, including the upcoming subscriber contest that I will be doing for 200 subscribers. And then, um, I will be posting more how-tos as well. And, you know, thumbs up if you like it, comment, let me know how I did on this, um, or maybe, you know, you got some recommendations, you know, that might make this a little better, so... All right, well, I'm going to let y'all have at it. Y'all be safe out there. Have a great weekend. Happy railroading.